What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And today, Apple just announced that they're releasing a brand new iPhone SE. Now, we've been hearing quite a few rumors about this for some time now, and it is finally here. Now, the iPhone SE is something that was really popular in the past. It was always that great option to get if someone didn't wanna use a really big phone since Apple's coming out with phones with much larger displays these days. And if you're someone who just couldn't get over the way phones used to be in the past, where they had a smaller display, it was something that was very comfortable in the hand, then you had this as an option. Now, these were always a lot cheaper, but came out with pretty recent specs, uh, and this is no different. While this iPhone SE has the body of an iPhone 8, it pretty much has the internals of an iPhone 11 or 11 Pro, which does mean we're getting the A13 Bionic processor in here, so there isn't gonna be much that this phone can't do that the new ones can. Besides taking pictures and that kind of thing, uh, the cameras here are a bit different. So instead of a dual camera lens system or a triple camera lens system, we're rocking one 12 megapixel shooter in the back. And they're pretty much treating this the same way they treated the iPhone XR. And with the iPhone XR, you only have that single camera lens in the back, but you were still able to do things like take portrait mode photos. But of course there was a limitation to it because it didn't have the extra lens. So portrait mode photos will only work on humans. So only human faces, that's the only way you'll get it to work. So if you wanted to take a picture of your dog or maybe some kind of anything like a flower, whatever it may be, you won't really be able to pull that off. And I feel like for most people, that's not going to be a really big deal because most of the time people are taking pictures of themselves or each other. But you'll still be able to take advantage of like some of those portrait mode effects with the studio lighting and the black and white. You'll be able to still do all that. Uh, you just won't get the ability to do other objects. Now, something else that you'll be able to still do with the camera is, you know, take that 4K video. And this makes sense. You still got that A13 Bionic processor inside, so we're not gonna see features like that go away. So if you want that nice 4K video, you're still gonna have the ability to do that with this camera. Now, real quick, let's jump back to the fact that this is in the body of an iPhone 8. So in the iPhone 8, we had a few different things. This was a 4.7 inch display. So that means, you know, you got that smaller screen, but like I said, it was much easier to hold in the hand. And that's what something a lot of people were used to. Uh, it is bigger than the original iPhone SE, which had, I believe, a four point, no, it was a four inch display. So it had a smaller display, but this one is a little bit bigger, still very comfortable to hold in the hand. And you got stuff like Touch ID, you guys. That home button is back, so you still have access to things like Touch ID, which honestly, was just so, so good. It was easy to just unlock the phone. You just pick it up, press the button, and boom, you're in. It was a really, really smooth experience. I understand getting away from the buttons in front of the screen and all that, I get it, but it was a nice experience. So I think that anybody who picks this up is gonna have a really easy and nice smooth time because you can also jump into apps. Uh, if you needed to put in a password, you can do that. Authorize certain things, you can just use Touch ID. It was just, is an awesome experience and uh, I'm glad that it's back in some capacity. And the iPhone 8 was originally the first iPhone to introduce wireless charging because of that glass back. And thankfully, even though this is one of those, you know, cheaper models, you still have access to features like that. So you can still wirelessly charge with this device. And Apple did change up the design of the back just a little bit to match the new iPhone 11s. The Apple logo is now right in the center and there are no other words. So it's just a clean back with the Apple logo in the middle. And speaking of the looks, Apple has come out with three different colors for this SE. You've got black, white, and of course, product red. So you have those three options in terms of the colors. So you can, you know, kind of go with whatever you want, but obviously black is the way to go. Now, if you decided you want to pick one of these up, how much would it cost you, right? So Apple is offering a 64 gig version, a 128 gig, as well as a 256. They're all starting at 399, and I believe the upper tiers are 499.99 and 549.99. But guys, this is a 2020 iPhone, even though it has a much smaller display, smaller body, all that stuff. But it's a 2020 iPhone, it has the same power as the iPhone 11s in terms of the processor, and it starts at 400 bucks. That is going to be a very, very enticing offer for a lot of people out there. Like, I'm already thinking about this for my parents. This is going to be great for them. Uh, well, my mom anyway. I think it's gonna be great for her because she'll be able to have a solid phone for years now. Cause she, she actually is still on the original iPhone SE. So I'd be able to upgrade her and it not break the bank. Mother's Day is right around the corner. It kind of just makes sense that we can upgrade her without having to pay like a thousand dollars and be 
pretty confident that that phone is not going to crap out on her within a couple of years. The fact that she's still rocking the original iPhone SE says a lot. This is gonna be that nice entry, entry level, or even just not a huge investment phone. I can see this even being great for kids, although I'm sure kids these days will probably be upset that they're not getting one of the new iPhones that everyone else is rocking. But either way, that lower price point is going to be very, very enticing. 400 bucks is nothing to scoff at. Hopefully my mom doesn't watch this video and I don't spoil it for her that this is what I'm trying to get her to replace her phone. Uh, but I do feel like this is going to be something that's gonna be extremely popular. I think Apple is pretty proud that they've sold a lot of 4.7 inch devices. I think they've sold over 500 million and they're actually pretty happy about that. So they wanna continue that. It just makes sense, honestly. You wouldn't put the iPhone SE in the body of an iPhone 10 or something. If you want something that has a similar design to the you know, bigger displays, you just go with like an iPhone 11 or or 10R or something. And this phone even gives you access to fast charging. So if you have one of Apple's 18 watt chargers, you plug that guy in and in just about 30 minutes, you get 50% battery back. And I think people who get this phone and haven't experienced fast charging in the past are really going to enjoy that feature. And pre-orders for this phone are gonna go up on Friday, April 17th, and they'll officially be available on the 24th. So I'm curious to know what you guys think of Apple doing this. I think it's something we all saw coming. Uh, we've been talking about the next version of the SE for quite some time. We've been seeing a lot of rumors about it, but it is officially here. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is it something that you would pick up maybe for yourself, mom, dad, grandma? I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know with a comment down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I definitely see this as something that I'm probably gonna see myself picking up maybe one or two for a few family members. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. If you guys wanna see a full review on that phone, let me know. That'd be pretty interesting to do to kind of go back in time, but not all the way since it's still rocking some of today's, it'd be interesting. If you guys are interested in that, let me know with a comment down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then it's your average consumer, peace.